Now to Donald Trump. In that fiery speech last night, we saw him take on Clinton as he also defended that tweet causing him trouble as he campaigned in the key state of Ohio with VP shortlister Newt Gingrich. ABC's David Wright is on the trail with Trump in Cincinnati. Good morning, David. Good morning, George. They call this state the cradle of presidents. Ohio, a critical battleground come November. That's one big reason why the Republicans scheduled their national convention this summer for Cleveland. But Ohio's also one state Donald Trump did not win in the primaries. I love Ohio. You know, I worked in Ohio for a long time. Trying to win over the Buckeye State, Donald Trump trotted out one possible running mate, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, who'd have no trouble being an attack dog. Is there a single person here who believes that if you had done what Hillary Clinton had done, that you would not be prosecuted? Trump says he has 10 names on his short list. Minus two, it would seem. Senator Bob Corker now says the job is not for him. And Senator Joni Ernst, who caused such a stir with this campaign ad. I grew up castrating hogs on an Iowa farm. She told Politico she has more work to do in the Senate, saying it's unlikely she'll join the ticket. Trump is defiant, defending that controversial tweet showing Hillary Clinton next to what many say was a star of David on top of a pile of campaign cash. Trump says it was a mistake to delete the image. I would have rather defended it, just leave it up and say, no, that's not a star of David, that's just a star. I have a son-in-law who's Jewish, Jared, who's a great guy. My daughter is Jewish. I have grandchildren that are Jewish, okay. And I love them, I love them. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, the grandson of Holocaust survivors, was put in the awkward position of defending the billionaire, insisting, my father-in-law is not an anti-Semite. He says the Donald Trump he knows is instinctively pro-Jewish and pro-Israel, adding, the worst thing his detractors can fairly say about him is that he has been careless in retweeting imagery that can be interpreted as offensive. Today, Trump heads to Washington, D.C., where he'll be meeting with Republican lawmakers, some of them critical of him for not taking full advantage of Hillary Clinton's email troubles. Uh, instead, he veered so far off message that at one point he even heaped praise on Saddam Hussein. George? Okay, David Wright, thanks very much.